of course, one of the <coughs> highlights of uh, PH 1.0 was the mention of the the Council of Elders, <laughs> which sounded like a Star Wars uh, council. <laughs> right? when said, wow, that's a cool name. Uh, it was uh, Robert Koch, uh, Zeti Aziz. Uh, who else was it there? Uh, there was a few other people. Uh, uh, Zain Zain he was the one yeah. leading the, 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 the council. Thing, yeah. Yeah. So, um, of course, then later on, it was turned to Council of Eminent Persons. Mm. Again, super name. I mean, <laughs> i got to say super name. Uh, but you call this book, in this book, you call them an illegal entity. And you, yeah. the way you describe them almost equates them to the Gestapo of, uh, uh, you know, Nazi Germany. Why was the CEP so dangerous? Well, you know, the, the first thing is the CEP, actually, the Council, of, I'll use Council of Elders because, you know, that was Mahathir's initial name for them. And that's not a new idea, mm. right? He had come up with this in 20, I think, 15 um, or 2016. He was already talking about this. He was saying that, no, you know, any prime minister shouldn't have any power to run the country. They need this Council of Elders to actually, um, you know, advise them. Um, and this is the advice that, that they needed to take. Um, I thought that was the role of, part of cabinet mm. um, and parliament, but obviously <laughs> I could be wrong, you know. Um, these are people who are voted, you know, in yeah. by the, the, the voters, people, yeah, yeah. you know, not independent people advised and all of a sudden influencing the government, um, you know. But again, I could be wrong. I mean, you know, I, I don't <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, so why was council eminent persons dangerous? Because they were not set up as an inquiry, uh, you know, by an act, uh, act of parliament. They were not set up by the court. They were not voted in to office. These were all individual people that were all of a sudden appointed to this council that was supposed to help with economic policies, that was supposed to um, assist Mahathir. Mm. And then we find out, and I'm not saying this, uh, you read the newspaper reports, then we find out that Tun Daim Sorry, uh, that, uh, that Tan Sri Daim. Uh, Tun Daim. Sorry, Tun Daim, you're right. That Tun Daim um, then speaks with the Chief Justice and Chief Judge of Malaya. And according to newspaper articles, not me, according to <laughs> newspaper articles, then instructs them to resign. An unelect unelected official, no power whatsoever, then orders the Chief Justice of this country and the chief judge to resign, which they do several days later. That is the power of, the, that was the power of the Council of Eminent Persons, right? Then my understanding is that heads of GLCs of all these government companies were called by this Council of Eminent People, right? And they were to brief this council, right? So the question is, fine, okay, they brief. What did you do with that briefing? Until today, the CEP has, got, has not filed any report. We have no report as to what the CEP actually did, mm. right? So what was this information used for then, right? All these GLCs showing you all the details of their, you know, of who they're going to be doing business deals with, um, you know, what their weaknesses, what their strengths are. Could certain businessmen then be using this as an opportunity? Uh, to build their business empire? Could I be. don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll leave it yeah. to you to guess. Exactly. Could it? Could, <laughs> Could it be possible? Read the book to find out the answer. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> because exactly. he also names the person that he thinks <laughs> is that person. 